This kitchen is so hard to clean. If only there was an easier way. Hi, I'm Joker. Say goodbye to Balcos and Young Link with new gun. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. And it sparkles like new. His side special invokes Aha with a near finger gun. Goodbye, Dirt. His up special fires a grappling gun. I love you, gun. His down special, Rebel's gun. Then there's Joker's final smash. All out gun. There, all clean again. New gun, now with laser sight and night vision for after dark cleaning. Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash. And last time, we got in Wii Fit Trainer, the exercising energetic who always remembered to keep on breathing and got into Elite Smash pretty fast than most other Elite Smash characters. Now for this next Road to the Lead Smash, we're getting really close to the end once again, and we've done a lot of DLC characters, all but two. All but one from Fighters Pass 1, and all but one from Fighters Pass 2. So today we're going to be finishing up Fighters Pass 1 with Joker, the very first DLC character, if you don't count Piranha Plant. And honestly, I think Joker's going to be a really fun blast to play, no pun intended from his gun that you'll be able to see a lot later. So I'm just going to pick this normal alt, it's just his black coat, and I'm going to go ahead and steal some hearts. Alright, looks like we're going to be starting off our mission today against the Falcon Freebie, of course. It's been a while since we've seen a Captain Falcon in Elite Smash, but let's go again and talk about Joker's moveset. So we're actually not starting off with his neutral beat today, but we'll talk a little bit more later. Nice backer and dash deck, those are some really great moves. Almost got him with an F smash as well. And that is his down B, his side B being Aha. From the beginning, you'll saw that it does a little bit of damage. It does continue with damage over time. Nice down smash as well. And that Falcon is not going to be living. Already dead. Only 3% honest. And of course, you know his neutral special. He wields a gun after all. <laughs> to get some damage from Falcon's jab, but that's his up B, a grappling hook. One of the best grap um, uh, tether recoveries in the game. He's still living at 82. And there comes our Sen. He's going to be a lot stronger. Unfortunately, we don't get to utilize it this stock as Falcon's able to get the downer off of us. But so far, so good. We already know that his gameplay is going to be pretty easy. 166 from Falcon, and we already counter it just like that. And the Epsil to finish him off at 177. A little bit late, so we'll go over and really kill that time. That is something you could do with his gun, though. That is up gun. It goes around in a circle, and there's also some, something you, more you can do with gun, as I'll show you later on. So Arsene's now back out, missing the upbeat. Nice F smash. So let's go for a nice... How many liberals does it take to change a Captain Falcon by Burb? <laughs> Son, they're too busy. <laughs> Show me that <Dad> moves. <laughs> down air. Now, the down air can only spike when Arsen is active. Otherwise, it just does a nice little chip damage. And overall, this is something that Joker also has a unique victory screen. And it's also been a while since we've faced a Wario in Elite Smash. Been even longer since we played Wario in Elite Smash. So let's go ahead and keep using more of Joker's moveset. So we're gonna start off with Aha, unfortunately missing. But we get a nice counter off that jab, getting that Rebel Guard almost full. That's something you can do. Oh, up air drag down. Nice, nice, nice. Getting that with the down tilt as well. So Arsene almost gone. Hurry up! Getting a nice down air into up smash to finish him out just before Arsene goes away. So, you know, he does last for a little bit longer. And his side does turn into Aegon, which is just like Aha, but in a larger percent. And as you see that Rebel Scar getting filled up once again, Arsene back out on the, on the field. So, living the forward throw. No. Okay, probably should have countered that. He does have a really good counter. I thought uh, Aegon was going to get through it. But I'll talk a little bit more about that. Getting another Rebel's Guard off and get, filling that meter up a little bit more. All right. Eating that backer, but we're all right. And he, uh, we're not going to fall for that. His... His neutral beat, we're not falling for that. Throw the bike, and there we go. Nice down smash, and the bike is still on the field, so let's see if we can hold on to it. And that is down gun. Now, with Arsene, his bullets become a little bit more powerful, so you get another helping hand for that. And Aegon, just before Arsene expires, so throw a little bit more of that bike, and then help Arsene back out. Alright, nice F tilt. And now it's going to leave him going high with that forward air. Really good forward air, and even more powerful with Arsene. And yeah, as I tell you. Already doing great, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Alright, for our final match, it's going to be Olimar. Now, this does look like a very familiar matchup, and uh, uh, just a few months ago, we were playing Olimar, and we were playing against the Joker. So, also doing something with Gun, we can just dodge back and forth. 
And look at that, just free damage, getting Arson almost immediately at 23%, already up to a really strong start. And we're just going to mess up Olimar right here. So yeah, that is his counter when Arson is active. It can be either Tetrakarn or Makarakarn. Why haven't I worn this yet? Now Makarakarn is used for reflecting projectiles and the like. And would you look at that, Arson back almost immediately after that purple Pikmin and getting a nice back here as well. Let's go for a nice counter, finish him off. Already taking that first stock. That was an instant meter refill for Arsene. I have never seen anything like it before. Down throw into forward air, but missing the forward air would have been really nice. But we still have Arsene active as well. And look at that, already getting a nice nice little shield break there. Let's just ride a ripple. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? You're mine. Yeah, 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 Already off to a really strong start. Have about half of the meter left for Arsene. So yeah, all right, unfortunately gonna die there. So Arsene does disappear. If you haven't noticed that he does disappear whenever you lose the stock, no matter what the meter is at. So yeah, about half meter. Unfortunately not getting the read there. All right, and here's another thing you can do. You can actually air dodge in the air well, with the gun. Okay, that would have been nice if I, you know, actually recovered with up beam in the grappling hook, but it's all right. So a nice comfortable stock lead. And he breaks out 132. So let's go ahead and finish him off. Hey Apple, what? You never see it coming. What a nice up smash. No help needed from Arsen, even though we've got a lot of help from Arsen in this Elite Smash run. And what a really fun Elite Smash run to close them out as the curtain falls. See, look at that. Well, that was another fun Elite Smash run yet again. And I gotta tell you, Joker on his own is pretty great, but then you get Arsene involved and it is just complete fun. You know, getting huge buffs to all of his moves. And I gotta tell you, that Olimar game was pretty insane. Getting an almost refill on that Arsene meter and getting a shield break with Arsene, just really fun all around. And I thought Joker was really fun to play. My favorite move, of course, has to be his neutral special gun with so many different possibilities, being up gun, down gun, or dodging in between with his gunshots. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and fire that subscribe button with his gun. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.